Hi, my name is Fabio Aires from Opa RT Technologies, and I would like to show you today a demonstration of eFaser Sim, our product for phaser mode transient stability analysis of large transmission and distribution power grids. This is a demonstration of eFaser Sim. In order to demonstrate the characteristics of eFaser Sim, we have constructed a simple test drive interface with which we can interact with our simulation and observe the consequences of our actions. What you see here is a control panel developed in test drive. You can see on the left side the one line diagram of the model we are simulating right now. This is a representation of the power grid in the province of Quebec in Canada. As you can see on the right side of this panel, we have several scopes so that we can observe what will happen with our system when we trigger some control or fault events. You can see that we have in here the rotor angle of our generators. We also have the frequency of each one of these generators. The bus voltage at selected buses. And the line current flow at selected branches. We can also observe here the mechanical power of our turbines and the excitation voltage applied to our generators. On the top portion of our interface, we can see controls for turning off the display of certain elements of this test drive interface, such as the current in some branches, voltage in some of the buses, controls for changing the tap in some of our transformers, controls for applying faults to our system, and controls for changing the amount of load in some of our loads. When we move back to the one line diagram of the system, you see now that we have several new elements added to this interface. This is how we will control our e-phaser sync simulation for this demonstration. For instance, what would happen when we open the connection line between Montreal and Quebec? So I select the control that allows me to open that uh, circuit breaker. And once the circuit breaker is opened, we will see on the right side of our panel the effect this action has on the several bus voltage levels and the other variables that are being observed. So there we go. As you can see, the opening of that line has caused a great level, level of instability in our system. Behind that test drive interface, what we see is a Simulink model, done in the usual fashion when using the RTLab product. You see here in our global model, a master block and a console block. Inside the master block, we see a central block, which is called the solver block. This is the phaser sim. This is the heart of our simulation. This block, when you double click on it, that only gives you a window in which you can specify which file contains the definition of your power grid. 
If a user sim accepts a simple Excel spreadsheet as its input file format, or imports PSSE version 32 files. In order to use eFaser Sim, you must describe your test network in a simple Excel spreadsheet format. This Excel spreadsheet contains several tabs. As we can see, there is a tab for in which you specify all the buses in your system. A tab in which you specify all the machines in your model. A tab for your exciters, power system stabilizers, and other models that comprise your grid. When you look at the contents of a table, you see that you have one column per field in which you specify the parameters of your power grid. So for example, in this page, we are specifying all the parameters associated with the synchronous machines that participate in our power grid. In the same Excel file, you will also specify all of the connections incoming and outgoing that are available on the eFaser SIM block. In this particular example, we have three outgoing connections and some incoming connections as well. These connections are visible on our main eFaser SIM solver block back in the Simulink interface. This concludes our demonstration of eFaser SIM, our software for phaser mode transient stability analysis of large power grids in both transmission and distribution scenarios.